Athlete. Welcome to another Monday Minute with Coach Nick and Intelligent Endurance. Uh, I've got a better microphone this week with these lovely headphones, so hopefully everybody can hear me better now. So this week, uh, we are going to branch off of the topic of replacing running shoes into replacing cycling shoes, and specifically cycling cleats. Uh, unlike running shoes, which usually uh, need to be replaced within a year, cycling shoes can go a lot longer, like a lot longer. Uh, I know folks who have had their cycling shoes for decades. Really, what it comes down to is how much you beat up the cleats on the bottom of the shoe and the original price point of the cycling shoe. Now, this can be for mountain biking shoes, triathlon shoes, road shoes, any type of cycling shoe where you're going to have a cleat that you're going to attach to the bottom of the shoe. Different cleats, different pedal systems, they all look different. These cleats in particular, uh, they pertain to the look system, but this information also works for uh, Shimano SPD, those little guys that are uh, on the bottom of a lot of spin shoes. Um, this also applies to speed play uh, cleats. Now, your cycling shoes typically going to last somewhere in the ballpark of three to five years. Uh, that's your, your minimum. If your cycling shoe costs originally about $150 and under, that's probably your best range uh, because the bottom of the shoe is going to get super flexible. Um, the material that it's made out of, the composite material, isn't going to hold up as long as something that costs usually $150, $200 plus. Uh, those shoes, it's going to be much more of a carbon material uh, on the bottom of the shoe, going to be a lot stiffer. It, the integrity of the sole will hold up a lot longer. Those, usually five plus years, five to ten years, a lot of those shoes last, uh, depending on how much you beat them up, how much you walk around on them. The cleats on all of those shoes, though, that depends uh, definitely on how much you walk around on them. Two things you want to look at with cleats are... One, how much space do you have between the screws that screw in the cleat and the bottom of the cleat? Do you have a lot of room, like right there? You're not going to be able to see those screws. If I'm wearing down this whole section right here, uh, that means I'm walking on these a lot, and I'm going to have to replace them because it's going to get dangerous uh, if, this, if the head of these screws starts getting shaved off. It's not only dangerous for the, sh uh, the screw to break, but it's dangerous because you might not even be able to get these cleats off. Uh, this is particularly important if you're using speed play cleats because the screws are so much closer to the face of the cleat. Now, the other thing you want to look at is the space specifically on SPD, Shimano, and look cleats. That space right there, that is what engages into the pedal. You don't want that to get ground down too much. If it starts looking uh, like a really sharp point at the front of your cleat, you've probably ground it down too much. Um, that could come from just clipping in and clipping out a lot. It could come from something breaking. I mean, these are only plastic, so they're only going to last so long. Uh, I would suggest replacing cleats every one to two years. If you cycle a lot or you walk on your cleats a fair amount, every year is a, is a good investment to replace your cleats. Thankfully, cleats are much cheaper than uh, regular shoes. Um, you know, they only cost like 30-ish dollars uh, to replace cleats. So it's not that bad of an investment. Um, to keep your shoes going longer, though, uh, besides replacing cleats and making sure the sole is in good shape, uh, it's not a bad idea to clean your shoes. Uh, you can always put your cycling shoes on the top rack of the dishwasher, just as long as you take the insole out. Um, put them on the top rack of the dishwasher without any dishes in there. Uh, run it on a cycle. Helps keep the, the shoes a little cleaner. Um, helps clean out some of the grit that gets stuck in them for a while. Uh, and that about does it for replacing your cycling shoes. To review... Uh, cycling shoes usually last three to five years. If they're a less expensive shoe, five, ten years plus for a, a more expensive shoe, usually something over $200, you probably want to replace your cleats every one to two years. 
and uh, definitely um, do your significant others a favor and, and wash your shoes every now and then. All right, guys, this is Coach Nick uh, from Intelligent Endurance, and that was your Monday Minute. Thanks.